Yo, what's up folks? This is Man at Arms bringing you another video today. Typically the videos that I've created in the past have dealt with more so business productivity or tools that can help you actually do your job better or it could enhance things that you do on your job or in your business. But today I'm kind of switching it up a little bit and I'm switching it to more so music. If you don't know, I'm a music enthusiast, be it I like listening to music, I like hip hop, I also do music production. Most of the times that you hear music in the background of these videos is music that I've created on my own man at arms in the building. So with that being said, the big thing nowadays is people aren't making money from streaming their music. And there's always issues in terms of when you get your money, how much money do you get? Or with Spotify of late and some other streaming services, do you get money at all? So what I've seen people start to do is actually go back to the old school, dealing with cassettes, El Nino, Def Squad, good album. Vinyl, old school, samples, chop them. But yeah, people are going back to selling vinyl. Um, I've seen people even going back to selling cassettes, or not cassettes, ooh, going back to selling cassettes, we getting desperate. But people are actually going back to selling CDs because, hey, it's a physical way to get your music into people's hands and you actually get some money from it versus 0.0.0375 cents. I don't know what the, what the rate is. I, don't even get me started on that. But it's a way to actually get what you're worth or at least get close to it. You can make some money off of the work that you actually took time and created. You wanted to get into people's hands and get people, you know, they can listen to it or what have you. Anyway, enough said there. People are selling USB sticks with their music on them or whatever. Just creative ways of doing those things. But what I found is something called a kit album. A kit album is basically from, at least how I see it, it's basically a bridge between the physical and the digital physical Spotify Deezer title Apple music Amazon music digital so what a kid album is, is basically and now and I'm gonna do like a further walkthrough of this in a little bit but basically a kid album starts off with this device right here and it connects to your phone your music be it an album or EP or even a single can be put on one of those along with any graphics like photo shoot like these cards come with this one and or even videos for that matter can all be included on a kit album you can make it exclusive people can go to a website and actually order a physical copy of this and it'll come in the mail so this is something that I like, man, this could be a potential game changer in terms of an actual physical device that people can actually get, but also something that's digital to where it resides on iPad, iPhone, Android device. You get a tablet, I don't know if we use this tablet still, but a tablet as well as your phone. So I thought it was really dope. I haven't really seen too many people even talk about it or even know that it exists. I had a friend of mine who actually sent it to me in a DM like a couple months ago, and he was like, dude, and he sent it to me and there wasn't really no explanation in terms of what it was. He just sent it to me. And from there, I kind of went down a rabbit hole and started trying to figure out, oh, what is this? Where can I get one? How can I make one? Because you know me, I'm all about trying to like figure it out and recreate it if I can. Um, but yeah, it took me down a rabbit hole and I actually found who makes it and how, how it actually works. And with that, I even got to meet the people, the, the owners of the company. So that was cool too. So yeah, I want to kind of walk you through briefly in terms of what a kid album is, how it works, what it actually consists of. And then in a future video, I actually walk through the process of actually setting one up so you can see how that works. This is Man in Arms with Beats and Tech, and today I present to you Kit Album. So I'm gonna show you what Kit Album is. So these are four different types of Kit Albums. I'm not sure the exact names of these. I might go back and add those or overlay those. But this one right here, this is actually one that can be sold in a store as an option where you can hang it from a peg on a peg wall. That's the physical Kit Album device where the data is stored 
after like insert cards contain like album information that's a photo card from like from the artist itself so you could put your photos or what have you on there this card here actually i believe this one has like album credits or what have you on there record label information and it's actually a sticker so then there's like a hook that you can actually hook it on to the kit album and hook it to your key ring but these are four different types again i'll try to go back and maybe overlay what type of what they're actually called because i don't know off the, off the top of my head so at this point i'll go ahead and reassemble the first packaging of the uh, kit album that i opened initially so i'll put the cards back in place put the kit album back in there and then i'll go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and open up another one so you can kind of see how that one's set up i mean it's basically the same but there's there's options to add more cards so like here you'll see like the instruction manual they have it in english and being that this is made in south korea they have it in korean i believe on the uh, opposite side of the actual instruction so it kind of gives you like a brief rundown on how the device works how the items on the device work here you can see the kit album again cards has like the name of the i want to say it's the album and the artist's name on there. and you can design these however you want to and i'll eventually show you what the back end looks like to set all this up but these are like photos almost like trading cards that they that you can add include i think you can forgot the max amount might be 10 or 15 they charge you these are album credits but yeah they charge you for however many i think it is plus after five but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and actually connect the kid album to my phone so you kind of see it here once i start trying it out so i'm actually sharing my screen off my phone and you'll kind of see once i open the application and this is available on ios android and a desktop version i haven't tried desktop and i don't have a ios device so it's connecting now it's waiting for the connection and i'll flip back to my to my other camera i'm gonna scroll through here and you can actually see how it lists albums as you have them or as you load them to your device and here I'll show you how I connected to my phone. Try to switch to the right camera view so you can actually see. I'm actually hold my phone up so you can see when it actually connects. You gotta press a little black tab on the actual kit album, you press it up against your phone. And then now it's starting the process of connecting it to your device. Now, one thing that I did bypass is it shows a download window that you have to actually uh, open up. and allow it to actually download to your device. And for whatever reason, it's not, I'm not hearing the sound. Normally you can hear the sound from it. So I'll, I'll fix that in a second. But yeah, here's like the photo gallery. These are the different photos that you can, uh, that the person, this particular artist has loaded within their kit album. And you can scroll through them. And as you scroll, you can see the different shots that they have. So back to the actual audio portion and you see the little, it's not a, the little graphic display of like a vinyl album spinning. And you can also see the lyrics going along with the song, which is really cool as well. I think that's pretty dope how they had that set up. So you can submit the, your lyrics and have it queued up with the uh, vocals. Now here's the video portion. This is pretty slick as well. So now you got the uh, actual reel spinning. Now it won't let me show you this portion on a screen share. It's kind of like a copy protection part of it. So I'm just gonna show you how it shows up on my phone directly. So it's pretty slick how they got it set up and you can submit like i think up to like maybe four different videos or more I, you obviously have to pay extra for those and we can walk through that in another video but yeah i, I think it's really really slick how they have this set up uh, my, my kid album kind of got disconnected right here so i got to reconnect it but all of this is done number one to kind of give it a, a layer of protection it makes it to where you can't really like duplicate these at least as far as i know so
so and that's pretty slick how they have that set up so it kind of gives it a layer of copy protection so like for instance and i won't show this here but i tested it out and like say for instance you have this kit album the application the kit player you have that installed on your phone or whatever the device is when you put it on another device it's going to say hey i noticed that it's installed over here i'm gonna have to remove it over here in order for you to play it on this new one that you just added it to so that that's pretty cool the idea of this is to kind of bridge the gap between the digital realm and the physical realm kind of gives you an old school feel from like back in the day when you went and bought a cassette from sound warehouse or street side records or someplace like that that actually sold whatever your you know local record shop was that actually sold physical items so this is kind of a bridge between physical and digital it's still digital but it gives you a physical tangible item here's another version of a kit album i like this one it's pretty slick and i think this is the one that they set up by default on the back end that you can actually configure again here are the cards that you can have sort of like your photos and things if you have group photos photo shoot photos exclusively that won't be any other place that really makes that really adds value to it because if you can release things that are only exclusively on this device it really makes it kind of a one one of a kind thing so but yeah so i'm just kind of going through these just kind of showing you how it's set up again i got the liner note card with the album credits or what have you and lyrics as well ironically enough this particular one is stopped working don't know why so i'd have to kind of do something to inquire within to see why did this one stop and what would i need to do if somebody had one of these and, and it stopped working but yeah this is a good thing that you can do that's available actually to not only artists in korea like south korea but also in the u.s as well so right here these are the different areas where you can actually customize graphics and i'll like again i'll do another video where i can show you exactly where this is on the back end to actually set these things up upload them and actually configure your songs your, your song information credits upload your photos for the uh, card set your pricing and another cool part about this is that this is basically like print on demand so technically speaking there is no upfront cost to set up any of this and they'll mail this out to you they say it, you can get it in maybe like a week or so uh, i haven't tested that portion out but i know i requested samples just so i can get an understanding as to what this actually is and i got it in maybe a week or less so i was impressed by that as well so kit album is basically for all you diy musicians out there do it yourself this is something that hopefully can help enhance number one your outreach to your listeners if you can if you're able to use something that can actually generate revenue but also enhance your relationship with the people who are actually listening to your music i believe kid album is actually something that can actually do that for you um as you'll see in the coming video i'm gonna kind of do a walkthrough that will actually show you how you can enhance the revenue model at least in terms of how they have it structured and what you can make the things you can add how much it costs because this thing here is basically like a print on demand thing you don't necessarily have to come up with any upfront costs and i believe that's a plus for people who are diy because money is always essential but it's more essential if you don't necessarily have it so again this is kit album i'm going to do another video in the future it's, hopefully that'll be my next video that i'll do to actually give you a kind of a walkthrough in terms of how you set everything up so i hope you like the video if you do like it subscribe it share it to all your music all your musician friends and hopefully hey they can see some value in something like this again this is man at arms talk to you in a minute peace